See, it's actually created those bubbles on top. It actually reacts with the metal underneath, breaks the rust off. Oops. Trying to make it so you can see. I blew away some of the stuff off the top. You can see it's working away there. It's almost like smoking out of there. I should take a look at it. The metal getting eaten away. Shouldn't be a problem if it eaten it too fast. It'll only take uh, Uh, well, it should take a couple days. I took it out to take a look at it, as you can see. It's, uh, it's quite rusty when I put it in there. I had cleaned it a little bit. But, uh... I'm not sure if you can see that that rust just coming off amazingly so it's only been in there overnight Oops. yeah it's only been in there overnight the rust is just peeling off wow even better than I thought See what we can do here. There we go, that looks a little better. Rust is just peeling off. Got a paper towel here. Gray metal one today. That's bare metal. Wish I had a wire brush here. Really show you guys, but the reaction actually seems to be with the under surface of the metal, so it ends up making it so it'll flake off. So hopefully I can de-seize this cylinder. Piston stuck in there. Haven't looked in this side. This is where a lot of the reaction would be coming from. Cylinder looks okay. It wasn't in there too long. It didn't pit or anything. Yeah, it's coming off nicely. Well, this is after I took it to my sink and I scrubbed it with this little wire brush here. Not very big. And, uh, this is what it came out as and with the vinegar. And before I couldn't get anything else off with the wire brush. See it still needs a little more. I can get rid of the rest of that completely. But uh, it does a really nice job. Um, I could probably try and take that piston out of there now. Should free up. But uh, yeah, pretty nice clean up job. It's a favorite one of mine. No power tools needed, just vinegar and a hand wire brush, amazingly. You can see how the reaction happens with the surface. You can see it's gray, kind of pitted a little bit. I think the vinegar is actually trying to revert it to rust form, but because it happens so fast, it makes the other rust drop away. To make sure you ho rinse it really well in water so that uh, it doesn't continue rusting because it will a bit but once you neutralize the acid it's pretty good and you want to be careful with looking at the bore like see in there you can see it was pretty rusty anyways if you leave it in there too long without watching it you could put pits and bore whatever you're trying to fix 
and uh, we know that's not a good idea. This is uh, about a minute or two later. You can see that uh, because I haven't cleaned all of it off yet, you can see the rust is actually still holding bits of vinegar, and that's actually making it grow it a little more. So it's definitely a good idea to have this cleaned up and well soaked to make sure there's no more vinegar left. Well, I went to the shop and I used a bench wire wheel. You can see it needed more time in the vinegar. You can see the little bits that are still there, not quite cleaned out yet. I did manage to get the piston out. See the bore needs to be cleaned a bit. I would hone it, but uh, I'm going to put it in the vinegar for at least a couple hours more, maybe overnight. And that'll help get rid of those pits, because that's been wire wheeled and they don't want to come out. So I either have to use the vinegar or I have to sandblast it. And uh, I'm going to go for the vinegar method for now. Just like when you would sandblast, you got to be careful with the bore. You don't want it to get eaten too much, so I am going to have to keep an eye on this. Uh, you can see I put the cylinder back in there. If you can see some of the bubbles gathering on the top, it's already reacting with the steel. Uh, when I come back in about half an hour, it'll probably be uh, bubbling away a bit. Oh, you can even see right there. I don't know if you've just seen that, but there's a whole ton of little bubbles. The reaction is kind of taking. There was just those big bubbles a minute ago, and now there's a whole bunch of little ones. They're really forming. Maybe I'll just uh, stay here a minute, and uh, you can see this. Of course, you could um, leave something in too long, damage it, so this is a process you definitely want to watch. I don't know if the vinegar, which is kind of safe, is what gases it's venting off, so recommend doing this in your shop or outside until you've uh, investigated what it's doing. Because I'm not sure, somebody suggested it could be uh, flammable. This is a couple hours later. You can see the change. Rust coming to the top. You can see the other side there, a little metal coming up. It actually breaks down the surface of the metal. So, got to be careful. But it's bubbling away, cleaning. Oh, it's coming along. Almost uh, got it. Gonna put it in for a little more. You can see it's got most of it, but this one area here where it was rusted the worst. So I'll put it in a little more. The bores still got junk in there, but it's coming along. I'll run home through that later. Yeah, that'll clean it up. And major thing is to get rid of the rest of the old rust.